The term endemic has emerged with the most recent decrease in COVID-19 cases across the country. But does that mean we are in the clear? I spoke with public health directors from San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara County to find out. A light at the end of the tunnel. We think we've gotten past the worst of it. March of 2020 to March of 2022, we've seen several variants of COVID-19, none as transmissible as Omicron, even to those that received a vaccine. With that being said, health professionals say vaccinated individuals throughout the pandemic have been and continue to be protected from death at a much higher rate than those unvaccinated. We're seeing more like 70% of the deaths are among unvaccinated. It's still a high majority, but it's a relatively small number. I like to frame it a little bit differently, which is you're 15 to 20 times more likely actually to die if you're unvaccinated and get the disease than you are if you are fully vaccinated, and especially if you're boosted. Both San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties have seen a dramatic decrease in cases since the Omicron peak at the beginning of 2022. But are those numbers parallel with hospitalization numbers? Yes, that's really tied to a significantly uh, higher number of our community being vaccinated. So we are seeing a decline in hospitalization um, reflected in a drastic decline in our cases as well. All trends look to be heading toward an endemic, but Dr. Borenstein says we should stay vigilant because of the unknown with the virus. This virus has surprised us at every turn. I say my crystal ball is broken um, permanently when it comes to coronavirus. Um, so endemic just means when you've got sort of background levels of a, a circulating communicable or infectious disease. We're not there yet. Taking your mask off is no longer the future. It's now a major step in the right direction. The decisions made about um, giving people the opportunity, um, especially among the vaccinated, to take their masks off in indoor settings is really a prognostication of where we're going. And a quick update on testing for COVID-19. If you have symptoms or have been in contact with someone that has tested positive for COVID-19, the best test is an antigen test because it's much more sensitive when detecting the virus. And if you are asymptomatic and testing without having a close contact, a PCR test is the way to go.